Hi, I'm Bob Tabor with LearnVisualStudio.net. We're moving quickly now. We're actually in lab number four, Media Capture, App Bars and Media Capture. And let's start with exercise one. We're going to add an app bar. And so in this lesson, we're going to add an app bar, which we'll use in subsequent lessons to expose access to uh, taking photos and video. Uh, and that'll be pretty cool. In exercise one, task one, it instructs us to install Callisto, which is a suite of controls by Tim Heuer, hope I'm pronouncing his name right, who at the time when I am recording this is a program manager for XAML at Microsoft. And I think the intent, here you can see, here is a blog post that he created about this toolkit. The intent of the project is to encourage contributions from other members of the software developer community and to make it freely available. Now you might recall uh, that we already really took this step back in video number one, but we did it in the finished version of the app that we wanted to kind of show, hey, what is it that you're going to build? We didn't do it in our grid app template that we're working on now, so that's what we need to do. Now what exactly will Callisto do for us? If you were to scroll through this blog post, he kind of shows you some things that, that you can do. And in particular, we're looking at the flyout control, this little uh, menu flyout that will, uh, that whenever we click one of the buttons on our app bar, it'll give a, us additional options or the user additional options that they can choose from. And that's really the feature that we want to enable because we're gonna put in here either take a picture or record video, right? You know, we could follow the instructions uh, that are listed here. I think there's an easier way to install Callisto, and I've already demonstrated this once. And so instead of going to this URL and downloading and then running this VSIX file, just do this. Go to References, right-click, and select Manage NuGet Packages. And then in the search online, type in Callisto, two L's in Callisto. Search for it, and then click Install and you'll have the most recent version of Callisto installed and referenced in your project. Okay, very cool. So we are done with step number one, or I should say task number one. So task number two is to put an app bar on our item detail page. And the way that we'll do that is to add some XAML. So let's go ahead and get started by going to the item detail page. And it says that we should add a new style to the page.resources section. So remember early on when I said we can add styles in here? Well, here's a good example of us defining a style that we'll use later on in just this page, okay? Uh, let's move on. And now what we wanna do, add the following statements after the page.resources section. So we're gonna create a bottom app bar. There's also the ability to create a top app bar, uh, just so you know. And so let's copy all this XAML code. And we're gonna put it right after the page.resources. And you can see that inside of this app bar, we're merely placing a grid. So that lets me know that I can have some fun in this area. I can lay this out any way I want to, but I'll probably just stick with a grid. <laughs> I can't think of anything all that imaginative that I would do that's different. And then there's a couple of stack panels. Um, it splits the grid in half, so half left, half right, and then it'll stack um, horizontally any of the individual buttons that we want to add. And here we're just adding two buttons. A brag button on the left hand side and then a, uh, something called a write commands on the right side. All right, Just so I guess we can see it. And uh, keep in mind that this app bar will only be available on this single page. All right, I think there are ways to enable app bars across the entire app. I think I've seen it, but it involves some um, uh, uses of a frame, just loading things in and out of a, of a subframe in their app. And I, I don't really uh, like that idea personally. Uh, it just seems like a lot of extra work. Let's get back into it. There's an interesting note here about how to find good icons um, using this uh, character map and using the Segoe UI symbol, all right? And it explains how we would go about using these instead of the one that's already uh, chosen for us here in the button. Uh, and you can see we're just using a static resource called a Brag App Bar Style, uh, Brag App Bar Button Style, okay? So maybe it'd be interesting to take a look at that style here, just out of curiosity.
Okay, so here's the style. And you can see that its content is set to this hex value. All right, so that's essentially what they did and what they're talking about um, here, that we can find additional hex values by going to the, the character map app, okay? All right, so then what we wanna do on the item detail page is add the following statements. So it's not enough for us just to add the app bar, but now we're adding the Callisto part, the uh, the flyout. And that can't be generated declaratively, at least not at this point. It has to all be rendered in code. And to remember way back in like video two or three, I said that we can create instances of, of uh, any of the, um, uh, the XAML elements, grids, buttons, text blocks, whatever in C sharp code. Well, in this particular case, it's the only way to create instances of the flyout menu. Okay, so we're going to start by adding some using statements at the very top. So let's find item detail. We'll add those up here. And then uh, next up, we're going to create a on brag button clicked event handler. So let's just go to the very bottom here and add that in. And so if we look back at the, uh, the definition for our app bar and we take a look at the button, there is a click defined, a click event, and the handler is the on brag button clicked, okay? All right, let's continue on here. Also notice that there's an on capture photo and an on capture video. And these are wired up to the two menu items that have been placed into the flyout control. And so we'll see this all, how this works. And you can see some of the, uh, the interesting things about the flyout itself. Placement, where should it be placed? The horizontal alignment and the horizontal content alignment, what's inside of it, where should it be aligned to the left-hand side? And where should we place this flyout? place it over the brag button and the content of it will be the menu that's defined up here and then to launch it or to show it you set the is open property equal to true okay all right so i think that should be enough and it says we can now run the app go to the item detail page and we should be able to bring it up just by right clicking or hitting the uh, windows z button on our keyboard all right, somehow we're still in search. Let's get out of that. Let's stop that and rerun it. All right, there we go. Now let's go to one of these items and I'm gonna right click here and we see, hey, we got the brag button, awesome. And when I click it, I can see photo and video. Let's go ahead and click one of these. And at this point, it doesn't seem like anything really happened to share uh, charm opened up. Was that intentional? Let's see. Yeah, so it shows the share UI uh, whenever we click uh, on capture photo or on capture video. All right, and I guess we're going to fill in those blanks in the uh, very next lesson. So this is pretty cool. I've used the app bar extensively in an app that I'm building. Uh, it provides the main, one of the main navigational pieces uh, to allow the user to jump around to different parts of the app. Uh, and so I found it very useful for that. All right, so uh, we'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you.